check, check. What's up, everybody? It's your boy here with another unboxing. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. I got two packages in the mail today. I got this package right here. This package right here. Um, I don't know what's in either one of them. I have a hunch of what's in both of them, but I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna open both of them with you guys. This one, okay, let me not show that. It's my address on there. But how's everybody been doing today? Everybody good? Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe. Um, so, the latest is I am about to fly my DJI for the last time. DJI Phantom 4 for the last time. And it's because I am getting the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. And uh, I'm excited about that. Look, I know what this is. Look at this. It should have an, a thing on here with my name on it, which I don't see. This is supposed to be inscribed. It's supposed to have a, pro a different message on here, and I don't see it. I'm kind of pissed off about that. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Look at this. See this? This is crazy. I thought they were going to actually put this on here. This is just a tag that says AW Productions. I spent f GoPro. You guys charge like, I think, $4 more, $10 more for a personal thing with my name on it. But I thought it was going to be written on the bag. This is very misleading. Or maybe I read wrong. But I could have had a whole little thing on here. But this is all I get. That's it. Like, seriously. Anyway, so this is a, a bag that I got from GoPro. It's like a carrying case. And what is in here is a jack. See this jack right here? It's a jack that attaches to your GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition. And what it does is it makes the Hero 5 have a microphone on it. You see that? How cool is that? Yeah, so let's open it up. Let's unbox this. Pro 3.5 millimeter mic adapter from GoPro compatible with the Hero 5 Black Edition and the Hero 5 Session. This lets you be able to plug in a 3.5 millimeter microphone to your GoPro. So now that GoPro can capture better audio than a Sony camera, but I had to buy a microphone jack for that. So let's take our GoPro and check this thing out. Maybe I should give you guys a sample of the, of the audio that you can capture with this. Yeah, how about that? That'd be great, wouldn't it? All right, so this is what you get. Looks like you can plug in the GoPro here so that you can, while you have this plugged in, you can export your video and you can um, plug your 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack in right here. That's pretty cool. All right, so you already know where that goes. All right, that's it for this for right now. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> Set this aside. Little drinky drink. All right, what's in here? I know what's in here, because I know what that is. Put it to the side. A little difficult to open. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get this. Uh, I cannot wait to get this DJI Phantom 4 Pro. And the reason why I'm buying it is because it has the 360 degree sensors and it has a better camera than the uh, regular Phantom 4. Just what I thought. Okay, so this is a Tascam stereo recorder. The reason why I bought this is because when I'm doing voiceovers, um, this is what it is right here. See guys, it's a Tascam recorder. This is what it looks like. It's the Tascam DR40 linear PCM recorder. And this is what we're about to unbox right now. You can plug two separate mics into this system. You can, as you can see from the, from the drawing. Now what this enables you to do is if you're doing a scene with two people, 
you can I can plug one lapel mic. I have a lapel mic on right now. What I'm using right now is actually a Sony. Um, Sony XT UTX B2. Um, now this is what I use. I uh, didn't buy the Sennheiser. The Sennheisers were a little bit more expensive than this, but I didn't choose to buy those because the Sony works just as good. Highly recommend it. I'll put the link in the description for you guys. Um, <clears throat> Also, the reason why I bought this, like I was saying, when you're in a situation where you're shooting a scene with two people in it, uh, you want to be able to capture stereo audio. Now, you could use a splitter and plug the splitter up to your camera, but you don't want to do that. The reason why you don't want to do that is because when you edit your scene, the audio is going to sound like it's coming from the same place. When you're, when you're recording your scene, you want it to sound like they're having a conversation. One voice in the left and one voice in the right. Is that your left? I think this is your left. My right is your left. Right, left, but left, you're right. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, yeah. Let's open this up. Okay, so we got batteries. We got an instruction pamphlet. We got a thingy thing thing in here. Let's open it up and see what's in here. Batteries, cool. Um, this is a tilt foot. So you can tilt the foot. Don't know what that is yet. Um, um, instruction pamphlet. Instruction pamphlet. All right. Now let's get to the thing. Get to the thing. Nothing else in this box. Set that to the side. Let's get to the thing. We have here a USB. Standard USB, got tons of these. And we have the uh, Tascam DR40 Linear PCM Recorder. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Nice. This thing is so light. It takes SD cards. And I'm gonna take the SD card, oh, it came with one, wow. Let's see the size. 4 gig, yeah, we're going to immediately replace that. 4 gigs, what are you going to do with that? It works for right now, but whatever. What I'm what I'm not seeing is, I guess you charge it up via USB, but I'm not seeing... Oh, it uses batteries. This sucks. Why doesn't it have a rechargeable battery? I'm not liking this already. I might return this. I might return this. Batteries? And doesn't charge up that sucks yeah that might be a reason to take this back this might be going back guys I don't like that um, okay so that ends this tutorial because I'm, I'm upset about the fact that it doesn't it uses batteries and it doesn't have a rechargeable battery I'd rather charge something up and have it not have to be forced to buy double batteries all the time <clears throat> so already I'm not liking this thing but um so that's what we got today um, the uh, GoPro um, three millimeter, 3.5 millimeter jack and this uh, Tascam recorder. It doesn't have a rechargeable battery that I don't like right now. But um, we're going to uh, end it right here because I don't want to give any type of thoughts other than I wish it would have a, a um, rechargeable battery instead of taking these uh, AA batteries. Anyway, I'm going to take you guys to New York right now to B&H because if anybody, if you guys love electric electronics like I love electronics, then and you've never been to bnh.com, I mean bnh in New York, then you need to get there. So I'm gonna take you guys on a trip to New York with me to go to bnh, and this is what this foot is for. It goes in right here, and you could basically sit this bad boy down. I might be able to get over the fact that it uses um, AA batteries, but my other recorder has a um, rechargeable battery, and I like that better. But I don't know. I'm going to read up and see if there's another one that comes with a with, uh, um, rechargeable battery. I don't like that. Anyway, we're going to take a trip out to B&H. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to drop that in this video or maybe I should put another video 
I'll probably drop that in this video. Go to bnh.com and check out. I'm not sponsored by them. I just like the store a whole lot. And if you if you've never been to BNH, you should go ahead and take a trip up to New York and trap go to BNH because it's it's uh it's like it's like the the candy store or the North Pole for like adults that's really in electronics. Anything electronics that you want is in BNH. You can go to bnh.com and 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 find other stuff but really you need to visit the store the store is like crazy like you can put your hands on any camera put your hands on any piece of any tripod any slider we're gonna go up there right now and check it out i'm gonna take y'all with me a dub i'm out let's go so i decided to take the train to bnh walked up through manhattan all the way up the block to bnh we entered the store Magical. See the system up above the head? Magical. It's like Santa's workshop. Um, the system up ahead like takes merchandise from one end of the store to the other. Look at all this equipment around. Audio equipment, voice recorders, all types of stuff. Headphones over there. I wanted to buy a little clip for my lavalier, so I went and I found it, picked it up. Here's some audio interfaces, microphones, things of that nature. Uh, mixers, beat machines. Oh, here's a room with all different types of monitors. You can see all the different monitors. And over here is a, it's a uh, what, I don't even know what that is, but <laughs> they've got all types of stuff in the store, high end, Headphones, uh, lavaliers, microphones, high-end microphones, low-end microphones, uh, microphone room over there to the left. Here is a video workstation, video editing suite workstations, many different ones. Music production stations, ridiculous. They got everything in here, look at this. Another video production workstation for editing. That's the video production workstation the other side was the uh was the music don't forget to subscribe to my channels guys don't forget to my subscribe, subscribe to my channels ada productions there's a slider um electric slider and this is one of my favorite sections they've got all types of different cameras all types of different cameras for whatever your budget is these are like the prosumer cameras not consumer not professional but prosumer actually these, I think some of those are professional, but right behind the glass right there, there's a whole production studio um, type setup area. More professional cameras. You got $15,000 cameras, you got $2,000 cameras, you got $1,000 cameras. You know, whatever you wanna spend, B&H has what you want. Sony cams, um, Canon cams, uh, whatever type of camera you can think of, they have it here. You can put your hands on the camera. You can zoom into that little fake building they got in the back there, and you could uh, test out the cameras. All the sales associates are very, very, very knowledgeable of the cameras. Like I said, you can put your hands on it, twist the knobs, check the pricing, see the specs, all of that. B&H is like uh, thousands and thousands of dollars, and with the store, I bought tons and tons of gear over here. Here's your like slider section. Put your hands on a slider, feel how smooth the sliders slide back and forth. And some of the holders below the sliders right there. More sliders. Whatever they don't have on display, they have in stock. Most items are in stock. You can get it shipped or you can get um, purchase it right there in the store. I always get things shipped from B&H because uh, I get it shipped to PA. This store is a superstore in New York. I think it's the only one in the world. Um, I get stuff shipped to my house and uh, it's free shipping. Here's a phenomenal, phenomenal production studio. If you have like a little small television show or something like that, nice switcher right there for you. Um, walk over to the, uh, the uh, consumer headphone area. Look at this, the keyboard area, more keyboards. Back here's where they have like computers, all types of computers. Um, whatever computer you need. I didn't even walk back there because there's more interesting stuff to show, show you guys. So when you buy something to B&H, you um, get a sales associate. If it's a large item, 
they print you out a little slip and they bring the little your item to the counter. You look at your item, they put it back in the chute and the chute shoots the camera, or the thing up overhead. It goes directly to the cash register, um, the, the checkout area actually. You pay for your item and as you're walking out the door, you give them the slip and they give you your item. Foolproof, great system so you don't have to walk around the store with a bunch of crap in your hand. The little tiny small items um, you can purchase right there on the not right here, but on the right hand side over there, you had a checkout area. Here's a little light thingy thing thing. Um, lighting area. But let's go upstairs. Let's check out the stuff upstairs. Yeah. So, going up the escalator, there's more stuff upstairs. It's incredible. Incredible store. So, um, this is the used department right here. See those two lenses right there? $15,000 lens. 14,000, whatever you want to spend. You can probably see to the moon with those lenses. It's the uh, surveillance security system area. Um, they got cameras that you can hook up to like your car's dashboard and as you turn your car on, the camera starts recording. I think that's pretty cool, especially in the day and age we live in. Um, back there you got projectors, all types of TV, virtual reality station back there. You see that guy sitting on the couch. But let me take you up here. This is like, probably my favorite area cameras every brand you can imagine every high-end brand has their own section but what I did come in here to get was a what did I come in here for get oh yeah I want to look at the um, a little smaller a smaller uh, camera tripod uh, so I went over here look look all the tripods you can you can ever imagine this is the little small tabletop tripod systems um, all types of different brands all types of different uh, um, quality that's the one that I have right there um, I unbox that more tripods look at this this um, right here is a 7d hooked up to your uh, iPad you can control the camera through that that's pretty cool more cameras Olympus right there to the right Fuji cameras here's a big Sony station on the side I think Canon was further down there. No, there's Canon right here. Canon. All these cameras you can put your hands on, you can twist the knobs, you can play with them, you can ask the sales associate questions. This right here, the drone cage. You could actually fly your drone um, and test it out. I think that's pretty cool. There's a DJI and a couple other drones back there. Pretty cool area. Um, right back here is all the action cameras. They got all the action cameras you could ever imagine. GoPros, um, Sony, um, little systems to mount the uh, action cams to. Pretty cool. The Osmo section with the handheld stabilizers for your action cameras as well as your DSLRs. Uh, actually, those those right here are for action cameras or um, some of them have cameras built in like the Osmo. Here's a little drone area. You got little drones look at this little guy right here check this guy out smallish drone in the business uh look it up about four hundred dollars you can get yourself one i think it's pretty interesting look how small it is and it flies really good it takes off and i've seen videos on it so i thought it was kind of cool uh, didn't wasn't powered on but i think it's a cool drone um over here some other drones this is the phantom and another couple other drones but um, yeah, if you look in the sky, they got drones hanging from the ceiling, so it's like ridiculous. They got everything drone wise. You see these guys looking at this incredible drone right here hanging in the ceiling. Another drone, another drone. Let's let's walk through the camera section one more time so you guys get an idea. Over there on the right hand side, there's a whole bunch of bags that you can buy. Here's the consumer cameras, and here's the professional photography cameras again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, printers. Consumer printers, professional printers, more Sony cameras. I mean, this place is a Santa's workshop for, for grown people. Flash, um, printers, monitors. They even sell 3D printers in here. Um, Rico, I don't know how to pronounce that. Rico brand, Nikon. Of course, they got all their cameras from big to small, $300 all the way up to $5,000. There's a Wacom tablet, I have one of these decided to draw Sonic the Hedgehog for you guys yeah so um yeah 
B&H is definitely worth a trip to New York. If you're ever in New York, go to Manhattan at the B&H Superstore. Um, I'm not endorsed by them, but I just think it's a very, very cool place, especially for technology. They have everything in there. And, you know, I think it's a cool place to visit. Check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for joining me. And um, see you guys next time. Take it easy.